Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the volume of a pile using microsurveys field genius 10. So to begin here, you can see that I've set up a number of points. I've taken points around the edge of my pile and points in the middle of my pile. So when taking the points on the edge of the pile and the middle of the pile, you have to make sure that they both have different descriptions or you're not going to be able to do this calculation very easily. So to begin here, I'm just going to head up to the top right corner of the screen here, and I'll just show you what I've done for my descriptions on my pile. And I'm going to hit those three switches there in the top right. And then I'm going to make sure that I have show description checked. So when I do that, and I head back to the map screen by hitting OK there, you can see that I've labeled the edge of my pile as uh, bank and that the middle I've labeled it as ground. So once I have that established there, I'm going to go down to my point description, my point library there. So where it says B slash bank at the bottom, this may say um, description for you or have an entirely different description. But I'm going to select the second option there. And that's going to bring up my auto map library. So once I'm in this menu, I can see every single point description I have available to me in Field Genius. And I can create new descriptions. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll just include a link to a video on how to edit point descriptions. But I'm going to select B slash bank here, and then I'm going to hit edit, which is going to uh, bring up my auto map editor window. And then I'm going to want to make sure that I have do not assign to DTM not checked for the point of this calculation here. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm just going to search for my GRD point description. I'm going to hit edit. And then you can see, again, I have the auto map editor here, but this time I want to make sure that do not assign to DTM is checked for the first part of this calculation. So once I make sure that is checked, I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to head back to the map screen. So I'm going to head to the top right there, and you can see that I have my surface manager button, the one that looks like a 3D map. I'm going to click that, and it'll open up my surface manager window. And I'm going to want to make sure that point database is checked. And then if I hit close here, you can see that I've created a plane on the field. So if I hit the 3D view button, you can see I have a flat plane from where the edge of my bank is. And this is going to serve to be the base of my pile for my volume calculation. So if I just recenter this and head back to the surface manager, I'm now going to select point database. And then I'm going to hit save there at the bottom. This is going to prompt me to add a name for my point database. In this case, I'm just going to name mine base, hit OK. And then it's going to prompt me to save it. So I'm going to save mine here to the volume calculator. And again, I'm going to give it the file name base. I'll hit save. I'm just going to hit OK here. Close back to the map screen here. And now I'm going to go back into my auto map library by hitting that point description again. So again, once I'm in my auto map library here, I'm going to leave my bank description as is, but this time I have to go change my ground description to include it in the volume calculation. So I'm going to scroll down and find ground again. I'm going to hit edit there once I find it. And then in this case, I'm going to make sure that do not assign to DTM is unchecked now. So when it's unchecked here, now we'll include it in that surface we created. So if I hit OK and head back to the map screen here, you can now see that if I hit the 3D button here, you can now see that my ground points are included in this volume calculation. So you can see that if I look at the bottom there, you can see that there's a volume and empty space, and you can see that my ground points have created peaks. So I just recenter this and go to the surface manager. So in the surface manager here, I'm just going to hit load. And then I'm going to want to select from my volume calculator that base file that I made earlier. And I'm just going to hit open. I'm going to check it now to add it to my 3D picture here. And if I go to the bottom again and look at the bottom with a 3D viewer button, you can see that I now have that flat plane underneath. So I have something that I can calculate the volume with. So I just recenter this. I'm now going to go do the calculation. So to do this, I'm going to head to the surface manager button again. And then I'm going to hit volumes there at the bottom. So I'm going to want to make sure in this volume calculation screen that I change a number of things. So I'm going to go under calculated surface here. Right now it has base selected, but if I do the calculation with base, I'm going to get no volume. I need to do the calculation with the point database. So if I go to this drop down here, I'm going to select point database, and that's going to include all the points of the pile in my calculation. And then my reference surface is where I want base selected. That's going to make my bottom plane the point from which I'm calculating the volume. So then if I make sure those two are selected, I'm going to hit calculate. This brings up my volume calculation screen here, and that has all my information about the volumes I've calculated. So I have my positive volumes, which are going to be my cut volumes, my negative volumes, which are going to be my fill volumes, and then a total volume of the entire pile um, and other information there. So this information is all saved in your Kogo calculation file, or 
you can just record it as is in the field and start working with it right away. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any of the other videos you've seen on our site or any of the equipment you've seen in any of our videos, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or you can visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.